Today's the big day. You guys really have no idea just how excited I am to be sharing this information with you. I've been keeping this a secret for months, literally months. I've known since December and Today, it is a secret no longer. I'm finally sharing with you what my next contract is going to be. To be honest, it was not my intention to wait this long to share the news with you. I know I had mentioned in a video a while back saying that the next video I was going to be dropping the news, but at that time, things were still not completely finalized and I didn't want to say anything until it was set in stone, the contract was signed, and we were good to go. So I wanted to wait a little bit longer to share the news with you, but then you know, life happens, things come up. I've had a very busy March and April. I've done a lot of traveling. I've been very busy in that aspect, which I'm so grateful for. I'm so lucky and I'm so happy that I was able to document it all for you. But I know some people were getting a little bit impatient on the news and I really, really appreciate those of you who have been patient and respected my timing. But the simple truth is, is that it's been very busy and I didn't want to just kind of throw it into a video I wanted to dedicate time to sit down and actually film a video dedicated all to my announcement and all of the details that go along with it if by some small chance this is your first time on my channel hello my name is Jordan I am a professional figure skater and I've been working on a cruise ship for the past five years but most likely most of you are returning and you have been waiting for this announcement for a while so with all of that being said, I don't want to delay this any further. You guys have waited long enough. So I will be headed to the Utopia of the Seas, which is Royal Caribbean's brand new ship that's coming out starting in July of 2024. Surprise! <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. Utopia of the Seas. I will be part of cast one, which is the original Utopia cast. So I will be taking out the ship as the first ice cast on board, which is such an honor. I'm so excited for this opportunity. It's going to be absolutely unreal and very memorable. It is going to be an experience like never before, and I'm just so excited for every single step. There's gonna be a lot more that goes into this process as I am the first ice cast to be performing this show. Because I'm part of the takeout cast, the process of preparing the show is going to be entirely different. We are basically going to be creating the show from the ground up. So they're gonna be building a show from scratch and also based on the cast members that are in the show. So going into rehearsals, they are gonna have an idea of maybe the songs they wanna use or the overall theme and vibe of the show, but we are still going to be creating as we go during rehearsals, which is going to be a really, really exciting experience. And it's gonna be a very cool learning process. It's gonna be, you know, completely different than anything I've ever done. Also, because I am part of cast one, that means they are going to be building a solo around my strengths so they're gonna be picking out a song they think would suit me and a brand new costume is also really freaking cool so I will be the first person to perform that solo and then everyone after me is going to be kind of sort of also be performing my solo so it's an absolute huge honor to be part of the takeout cast it's gonna be a lot of hard work but I am 100% ready for it I am so excited to share everything with you it's going to be incredible so as i said utopia is coming out in july of this year so the first revenue cruise is at the end of july just around my birthday which is going to be pretty cool but because it is a brand new ship i do have to go way beforehand to obviously learn the show dress runs tech runs and also all of the safety requirements that are also necessary for a brand new ship so i will be flying to california in the middle of may to begin my rehearsals and rehearsals in california are going to last about three and a half weeks or so from there we are going to be flying to france because the ship is currently being built in france and that is where we are going to sign on to the ship i'm assuming when we land we're going to stay in a hotel and then we'll sign on the next day but i really don't know how all of that is going to play out we will see when we get there i do already have my flights for california and my flight is at like 
8 in the morning. So it's gonna be an early start to the day, but I haven't been to California since I was a baby. So this is really gonna be my first time experiencing California, which is gonna be so much fun. And on top of it, I get to build a show with a bunch of other very talented skaters as well. My brain is kind of like scrambled eggs right now. I'm bouncing all over the place, so just bear with me. There's a lot of exciting stuff to share, but it's not the most organized information. So jumping back to France, once we are in France, we're gonna join the ship. We're probably going to be doing a lot of safety drills, trainings, walk arounds, things like that on top of more rehearsals and tech runs, dress runs, costume fittings, all sorts of fun stuff. We'll also have to do our sea trial. So we'll have to kind of make a big loop and make sure that the ship is good to go for sailing. And then once all of that is done, we will eventually do the transit Atlantic crossing from the dry dock all the way to Florida. The home port for this contract is going to be Port Canaveral, Florida, which is where my contract on Wonder was ported out of. So I'm very familiar with that being my home port and the itinerary is going to be three and four day cruises which is going to be very, very demanding. I have never experienced three and four day cruises. I've tried to avoid them as long as I've been in the company, but because this is such a great opportunity, I figured that it was worth it. <laughs> The positive to doing a three and four day cruise means that I get to skate a bunch. I don't know what our schedule is going to be yet, but we are probably going to be performing a lot of shows. And also because it's a shorter cruise, it gives opportunity for some of my friends and family to hopefully come visit me on the ship. For the three day cruise, I think we're just going to Perfect Day at Coco Cay, and then the four day cruise will be sailing to Nassau, Bahamas, and Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So that's gonna be the itinerary for the entire contract. It's gonna be a very good saving contract, but it's all about the experience of being part of the takeout team of a brand new ship and being cast one of a brand new ice show. I'm so looking forward to this opportunity. I had the best time when I was working on The Wonder of the Seas because the show was so modern and brand new. I was only cast three on that ship, so to be cast one with all new technology, lighting, costumes is going to be phenomenal. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to share a lot of the process with you until the ship is actually sailing with guests and the show is unveiled, so all of those behind the scenes rehearsal videos and costume fittings and things like that, I won't be able to show you. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film, edit, upload, all of that stuff. I'm gonna do my best to stick to two uploads a week, but you guys will be in the loop. Just please be patient with me and please understand that it's completely out of my control. I have signed a contract that states I cannot post anything that will reveal the show before a guest actually sees it. So, so I'm hoping that I will be able to at least film the rehearsals and create vlogs all about that creation process because I also want it for myself because it is a new experience. However, I won't be able to upload them until I'm hoping August. So I'm gonna see if I can get permission to film during the closed rehearsals because we're not even supposed to do that, but I'm gonna ask permission from my boss. Hopefully she will allow it. And then once we actually are cruising with guests, I can kind of backtrack some of the vlogs and show you the behind the scenes of making the show. That's that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited for another contract. I know a lot of people were worried that I wasn't returning to work on a cruise ship, but not to worry. I am, I am in fact heading back on board. This vacation has been such a good period for me to rest and recover my body, but also to develop my YouTube and my travel creation because I have been really hoping to set aside some time to work with hotels and just build up my portfolio a bit more. So it's been an incredible two months of travel and I have made some really great progress and gotten to work with some unbelievable companies. So I'm so grateful for that. But more than anything, I'm so excited to be performing again soon. And skating is my number one love and passion and I'm so excited to be back on stage again. Once again, a huge thank you to everyone who has been patient for this announcement. I know it's been a while, but do not worry. I'm going to be filming a ton of preparation videos showing you the process of how 
I'm actually getting ready to leave and my travels and all the behind the scenes that I am allowed to share with you, I will be definitely documenting. As far as the size of the cast is concerned, I don't entirely know the final number, how many people are in the cast. I want to say it's 13, so I'm kind of predicting there's 12 plus a specialty act, but do not quote me on it. Obviously time will tell, we'll figure it out when we get there, but for now I think it's 13 people, but we will see. I do actually know a few people that are going to be joining me in the cast, which is super exciting. So I'm excited to work with a few people again, and then there's some people that I know, but I've never personally worked with them in a cast, so that's gonna be really nice as well. Yeah, I think we've got a really strong cast, a very great cast, and I'm looking forward to getting to know everyone and you know how it is, rehearsals is very demanding and you're spending many, many hours together in a day. They're very long days and you make bonds pretty quickly, so I'm really looking forward to that as well. Can you tell I'm excited? I keep saying I'm excited, but it's because I am. <laughs> Unless you know me personally, you probably do not know, but I am extremely critical of myself and I set a very high standard for myself because I just want to be the absolute best I can. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think sometimes I could have a little bit more grace and patience with myself, but at the same time, it has made me into the person I am today. And because of that, I have developed a really strong work ethic over the years, which I am very proud of. I have put my all into my skating career since I was a very young age. And I am very proud of all the hard work and all of the skating accomplishments that I have made over the years, but I am feeling very grateful for this opportunity and, you know, hard work does pay off. So I am very honored to be selected for this cast and I will never take that for granted. I'm, I'm so appreciative and I'm just really excited to be surrounded by other very talented skaters as well. I am planning to film a separate sit down video answering all of your questions regarding this contract, but I do wanna answer just a couple questions that you guys sent me. Uh, let's see. What factors go into determining each contract? Does salary vary with each one? And do you ever factor in some of the close friendships that you've made with coworkers, trying to coordinate with them in deciding where to sign on next? Um, these are all very good questions. So for other contracts, I usually look at the itinerary and the length of the contracts. Ideally, I like to do new itineraries every single time so that I can see as much of the world as possible. And I've been very lucky with that. I've been very fortunate to get the contracts that I've had. I've traveled to 44 countries now, which is incredible. I feel like most people cannot say that. So I'm super grateful that my job has allowed me to see so much of the world at such a young age. But I also think about the shows as well because every ship has a designated show and some of the tracks on certain shows are right up my alley or something that I really enjoy so that also plays a role in selecting a ship however you don't get full freedom to select what ship you go on you can request a specific ship but you usually have to send in an audition video for that specific solo and then it kind of goes from there for a takeout specifically, I did not request to be part of the takeout cast. I was selected and offered this ship. This was definitely an offer that I did not want to pass up. Again, I'm so grateful that I was selected for this cast, but I did not submit an application to be considered for the takeout cast. Salary is the same for the most part. Every contract, it goes up a little bit, so it increases by $100 a month every contract, but there is a cap. I'm not gonna say what the cap is, but every contract you get $100 more per month. So it ends up being 25 bucks a week. Contract to contract, it doesn't seem like much, but over time it definitely adds up. And for your third question, I have made so many incredible friendships over the years working on ships and if I could work with everyone again, I would. Like, it's so upsetting to sign off a ship when you've created such a special bond with somebody in your cast, or even not in your cast, just somebody on the ship. So that is definitely heartbreaking, but it is really, really difficult to plan a contract together. I have never had any luck with that. I haven't asked for a specific ship with a friend, but chances are you won't be able to get the next contract together. You can always ask, but 
it's usually kind of luck of the draw. Most of the cast on board are 10 people, so that's two pair teams, three solo boys, and three solo girls. So once those spots are filled, they're filled, and everyone has different skating styles, so sometimes it just does not line up. That's not to say that you'll never work with them again. I have done multiple contracts with certain people, and it's been incredible. So I have been lucky in that sense, but I've never requested a ship with another friend. Uh, I've answered this question before, but I'll just throw it in again. I was asked, why did you choose skating on cruise ships versus other opportunities? So when I was graduating college, I applied for Disney on Ice and ships. My coaches told me to accept whichever offer I got first. So I did accept cruise ships first because I was offered it about five days after I submitted my video and like application, if you will. So it was kind of a no brainer, but I will also say it is one of the more prestigious jobs you can get as a professional figure skater. It's definitely more competitive to work on a cruise ship because the level of skating that is required is a bit higher. So that was also something that factored into me accepting the job because while I was young or still am young, I want to skate to the highest level that I am capable of. That's all the questions I'm gonna get to for now. But like I said, I am gonna be filming a sit down Q and A all about the upcoming contract on Utopia. So throw me with any questions you guys have in the description box. I'm also gonna be throwing up a little poll on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, Instagram, I will have that linked below as well for you. But I am so unbelievably excited for this new adventure. I can't wait to share everything with you and it's going to be an experience of a lifetime. So I am just over the moon excited for this new opportunity. Thank you guys as always for supporting me, my channel, my life, and all of my skating endeavors. Um, it means the world to me and I'm so appreciative for each and every one of you. So thank you for being here. With that being said, I'm gonna leave you here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.